Hello, and welcome to the new section Statistics with Julia. In this section, we would learn about doing statistics in Julia, along with common problems in handling data arrays, distributions, estimation, and sampling techniques. We will start with basic statistics, then concepts descriptive statistics, deviation metrics, sampling, and finally correlation analysis. We will start with the first video of this section that deals with basic statistics concepts, wherein we'll learn how to get ready and how to do it, and at the end we will see how it works. In this video, you will learn about the stats base package, which helps you use basic statistical concepts such as weight vectors, common statistical estimates, distributions, and others. To get started with this, you have to first install the stats base package by executing package.addStatsBase in the REPL. Let's see how to do it. Weights vectors can be constructed like this. Weights vectors also compute the sum of the weights automatically. So, if the sum is already computed, it can be added as a second argument to the vector construction, so it saves time required for computing the sum. Here is how we can do it. Weights can also be simply defined by the weights function like this. Some important methods that can be used on weight vectors are to check whether the weight vector is empty or not. The isEmpty function can be used isEmpty w. To check the type of weight values, the el type function can be used el type w. To check the length of the weight vector, the length function can be used length w. There are different kinds of means that can be computed from a data set, such as the harmonic mean, the geometric mean, and the simple mean. So, the stats based package has methods to help you do these. This is how you calculate the different means. We can calculate the harmonic mean of x with the harmonic mean function. To do it, we can use x equals to 1, 2, 3. The output would look like this. We can calculate the geometric mean of x with the geometric mean function, that is geo mean of x. The output would look like this. The general mean can be calculated using the mean function, that is mean of x. The output would look like this. An extra argument for weight can be added to the mean function to make it the weighted mean, that is x equals to 1.2.3.9. Now w equals to weight vector four dot comma five dot comma six dot mean of x comma w. The output would look like this. Now we will see how it works. The weight vectors are very useful, especially when doing statistical modeling and carrying out machine learning experiments, as they would be used to specify coefficient matrices, the weights for weighted statistical analysis, and so on. So, Julia's weight vectors help differentiate the actual weight vectors from other normal vectors, which would be very helpful during statistical modeling. Having a pre-calculated value as an argument for the weight vectors is also very helpful, as new variables don't need to be created just to store the sum of the weights, and computational time is saved too. As weighted means are often used in statistical modeling, having the extra argument in the means function would be very convenient for analysts as creating new weight vectors and then multiplying the two vectors is often time consuming and redundant. The isEmpty el type and length method functions are very important and handy whilst doing descriptive analytics. They can be used to check the properties and contents of the array quickly. Means are a common and a very important statistic in the process of exploratory data analytics. They are used to check behaviour and also help mine important information from the data. The harmonic mean is rarely used. It is simply an additive structure applied on the reciprocals of the observations and is used in problems that include distant measurement and so on. The mean, along with other common statistics such as median and mode, gives the analyst a rough idea about the behavior, skewness and bias of data. It also acts as a preliminary measure and as a basis for understanding statistical modeling and machine learning techniques that follow the exploratory analytics process. Cool! 
In this video, we saw basic statistics concepts. Firstly, we understood how to get ready, then how to do it, and at the end, we saw how it works.